We were rolling through Buffalo and decided we'd stop at a Buffalo hot dog icon, a little place called Ted's Hot Dogs. Let's check it out. My grandfather, uh, like so many other immigrants coming over from the old country, came over probably because he had a relative that came over before him. When my grandfather ventured off on his own, away from working with other family members, uh, he started with, if I'm correct, just a thing around his neck like the cigar, cigars, cigarettes, cipperillos, walking around the parks, walking around the city of Buffalo, selling popcorn and peanuts. He graduated to a horse and a wagon, driving around, popcorn, peanuts, popcorn, peanuts. Um, he eventually got a truck, a, a lunch wagon. We like to say we were, he was very uh, ahead of his time with having a food truck. When they were building the Peace Bridge in 1927, uh, there was a construction shack being used by the contractor, just a small, it was an old rickety, I don't know how big it was, very, very small. And when the bridge was completed in 1927, uh, my grandfather bought the shack for $100 put a sign up on it and that was the first time that there was an official uh, building um, that said Ted's Hot Dogs and that was there believe it or not until 1969 when they were expanding the Peace Bridge ramps and they had to take down the shack and the ironic thing is my grandfather was alive at that time lived to, to, into 1969 they took the shed down and my grandfather passed away a month later. Oh. So it was really just very ironic that you know he went when that when that building went. Was it the second generation that took it from a little shack to a? Yeah, I would say piece. then my dad came in, and um, I had a couple uncles uh, before that that also joined my dad, and uh, my grandfather took it maybe to one other location, which was the Front Park location, which was right around the corner from the original shack, and then dad. Um, with my grandfather. My grandfather might have even been responsible up until 1948, the next um, building that still exists today on Sheridan Drive. Uh, that one is um, really, I, I'd say, it's not our newest location at all, it's probably our oldest location, but it's like the flagship. Uh, you know, a lot of publications, that's all they talk about is the Sheridan Drive location. Right. And, but somebody else was doing charcoal broiling down the street from the Sheridan Drive location, and so my dad is the one that said, you know, Dad, I think we ought to, we ought to give that a try. The so they the switched history. to charcoal, and now it turns out the charcoal is our niche. I mean, that's what a lot of people love is the, the cooking over the real hardwood charcoal. Ted's is, Ted's is pretty, you know, I just came back into the business because um, I, was, I was out of the business for a while. I just came back into the business. And I think because I grew up in the business, <clears throat> I just went with my dad. We would go to the stands at night, check on things, and it was just part of our lives. When I came back into the business, I don't think, I think that's the first time I had an appreciation for how much this, that Ted's had actually touched people in the area and how much it meant to them. And everybody had stories and everybody wanted to tell about their stories at Ted's. So we're really part of the, you know, fabric. I would say there's a few things that make, that, that are special to Ted's besides the charcoal. Um, the charcoal, the, the homemade onion rings, a lot of people really like the onion rings yeah, and that's something nice. we make every day yeah. homemade. The hot sauce, that's another homemade thing that, that's different and unique to us. Uh, a lot of other people make, but we make the milkshakes from scratch. Um, and Loganberry, that's a local phenomenon, not just Ted's. Uh, that was in Canada, up at Crystal Beach Amusement that's Park. That's the orange drink? That's the, the purple drink. Oh, okay. It's, uh, I think Loganberries are a mix of um, blackberries and boysenberries or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I'll give you some on the way out. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's a non-carbonated, super sweet, you know, yeah. and ours is made with cane sugar, so it's really sweet. But those are a few things that are iconic to us besides just good food, hopefully cooked well, and served in a, in a, in a friendly fashion. The regular hot dog is our house specialty. We have a homemade Ted's hot sauce, too. It's really good. All right. I'll do that. No, no ketchup on it. All right. I'll make sure that Mitch doesn't put any ketchup on it. Right. Do you want any fries or homemade onion rings today? One of each, yes. One of each, please. <laughs> what kind of hot dogs are we using here today? We have the Salem's Red Hot Dogs. Pretty good. All right. We have a special casing just for Ted's. All right. Fries and rings will be right up.
All right, that looks like lunch. I love the food. I love hot dogs. And so I love the food. It's always it's always good. These are the greatest Italian sausage and hot dogs I've ever had in my life. Yeah, Ted's well, great. I, I tried to call you before, but you know. Golden Mary's good you. too. I love Ted's. I come here all the time, and it's obviously the best hot dogs in the world. Uh, we're very proud of what we do here. It's a great company, great, great product. And it's what's lasted us for the last 85 years. What I like the most is you can come into a friendly atmosphere, get what you like, eat it, and go out. It's perfect for grabbing a hot dog or whatever. We don't go anywhere else but that's. So, uh, I don't know. It's just a simple, simple formula. Uh, stick to really quality product. Uh, just cook it the way you would want to eat it if you were eating it yourself. Take really good care of your customers. Give them a great, great service and a great experience nice clean store and that usually usually those are those are the you know the basics chowing down at Ted's this is buffalo I thought we were getting wings